In this video, we're going to be doing the null sleep tutorial that he has posted on his main webpage, uh, nullsleep.com. I will put a link in the description bar so you can follow along. Uh, there is a little section before this that I'm not going to address in this video. Um, he has some diagrams and makes some explanations, and we actually don't really do anything with LSDJ until the third part of the tutorial, so I won't focus on that. But um, I do recommend actually going to the site and reading it. There's a lot of good information and if especially if you're new uh, he goes into a lot of good detail about how things actually work so if you're following along from the website uh, we're going to be starting the section starting a song and creating a phrase again I'll read this verbatim and I will just add um, some things that I feel are necessary throughout uh, reading it uh, Begin by going to the first row of the first column in the song screen and hitting A. This will add the chain 00 to be played in the song. Next you want to actually put something into this chain, so hit select right to go to the chain screen. Once there, hit A again and this will add an empty phrase 00 to chain 00. Now hit select right and this will take you into the phrase screen. This is where you will actually be entering notes. Hitting A will enter the note, C3, into the step of the phrase the cursor is currently located on. Pressing A left and right will allow you to change the note. Pressing A up and down will change the octave. So now you should be able to fill in some notes in the steps of the phrase and hit start to hear them play. You can erase notes you enter by mistake by holding B down and pressing A. So this is what I want in my uh, my phrase right now. So let's say I add an extra D4 that I didn't want. Just hold B, and tap A, and you've erased it. Um, and let's just hear it. So to hear it, just press Start. At this point, this probably sounds more like a hearing test than music. So let's get into the instrument screen. Hit select and write from the phrase screen to get into the instrument screen. Um, it's also a good idea to highlight the, uh, the number. So this is the instrument column. We would want to highlight the, um, the instrument zero, 00. So hit select and write. Move your cursor down to the envelope setting and adjust it by holding A left and right. You can press start from the screen to also hear the changes you made in real time. All the values in LSDJ use hexadecimal notation. This is a base 16 um, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, and F. The default envelope setting is A8. The, number, the first number represents the attack, or starting envelope, and the second number represents the decay rate. The higher the longer the, higher, the, longer the note will be held for. Decay values of greater than 7 will hold the note indefinitely. Try changing the volume envelope to something like 84 for a nice little bleep sound. The default wave duty cycle is 12.5%. Change this to the less raspy sounding 50% by holding A and pressing right twice. Just go down to here, hold A, press right twice.
Now this one, 16 step phrase, looping over and over, is probably getting tired. Go back to the chain screen by using select and the d-pad and adding another new phrase to the chain after 0, 0. Do this the same way you added the first one. Hitting A, A left and right changes the phrase number. String a couple of phrases together in this chain and fill them up with a nice melody. Then it's to the beats. Alright, so from here we're just holding select and pressing left twice. This takes us back to our chain screen. So now we're going to add um, another phrase to our chain. Um, which is where I add 0, 1, 0, 2. Um, actually, we're not, for, the, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to add another, just to show, not so I don't completely write a whole new song um, and bore you to death. So let's, nope, nope, went into the wrong one. Um, you can, act, once you've made different um, phrases, you can just go from each phrase. Um, so you're in, if you see at the top left, you see you're in phrase 0, 0. If you just hold down, you'll go right into the next phrase. So, in case you wanted to change something in there, instead of actually holding select and going back and selecting, if you just wanted to go to the one immediately below, you can just use up and down with the cursor, and it'll go right to it. Um, anyway, so let's just add another. Alright, so let's listen to our little melody I've made. Okay, that's part one. In part two, we'll be making drums.